<laughs> Why are you so awkward? I just finished having you can talk. You don't have to be so awkward. Hello peeps and welcome to a new vlog about to go to get some coffee then finally the container store round of applause for me I've said it in two vlogs but I'm officially going we'll see from there I do need to get my car washed so at some point today if I have time before they close I'm gonna do that but I just want to pop in and say hi and my by the way get out back. your hair is so long can I please show them your hair Oh my gosh, I'm gonna show you guys an angle and it's clean, okay? Look at this. This is a braid out, so it's stretched. Y'all, that girl got cropped, don't she? But yeah, um, in other news, I do plan on chopping off my hair this week. Did I tell you that? Yeah. I'm cutting my hair like here. I'm gonna look stupid. It's different. <laughs> It's not for like fashion. It's because the health of my hair needs to be immediately rectified. So it's gonna be a big chop. Um, when I saw her, she was talking about the what temperature she had. Oh wow. Oh okay. So you can control the back seat from the front. I can't. They can control their own. Yeah, they can try their own too, but just for like, they need to like. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys once we get somewhere. Okay, guys, so went to the coffee shop that I went to last time, got my Vietnamese coffee, vegan Vietnamese coffee, a fried egg and cheese sandwich on a bagel. Last but not least, cranberry orange muffin. Your girl's hungry. Right now we're trying to figure out which container store we're gonna go to. It's just a matter of traffic. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna be one of those people that don't tell you if it's good or not. Not any. That's the first thing I saw you look. Whenever you go to restaurants or places, try to get your egg fried. That way you know the egg is real. Never get scrambled. I'm just gonna eat this and then I'll see you guys at the container. Oh yeah, at that hotel. So we're inside the container store. I love their closets. Let me show them to you. Yeah. See, this is what I mean. That little hack people do, your clothes are supposed to sit inside your closet. Alright guys, so 
<laughs> Why are you so awkward? I just finished having... You can talk. You don't have to be so awkward. I just finished having a day date with my boyfriend. And now we are leaving Barnes & Noble. So, babe, <laughs> babe, I want you to repeat the story you just told me on the way here. No. <laughs> repeat the story. If I tell it, it's not the same. Just the same thing you just told me. So you're not going to tell the story. What story am I talking about? I have no clue. <laughs> if you don't have any clue, why won't you say it? The camera's not on you, by the way. It's on me. I promise you. No? You're not going to tell the story? No. Okay. He's pretending like he's shy, but he's not shy. He's very outspoken. <laughs> he just wants to give me a hard time right now. Everybody talks about how amazing you are for saving my life. I am amazing. <laughs> so be even more amazing and tell your story. No. Okay. Well, I'm about to... um go back to my mom's and we're probably going to go get something to eat because I'm starving but I'll check with you guys in a few aww you should have told me way sooner guys I just tried to do my best to show you it was this um, it was this guy driving by and he was like, my boyfriend was like, this has to be the most, like, California person I've ever seen. And I'm like, what do you mean? I turn around and look, and the guy is in, like, a Volkswagen bus. Like, the one from, like, the 60s. And it's, like, that teal color. He has, like, the psychedelic curtains. He had, like, long blonde hair and, like, a poncho. <laughs> I was like, he is literally a definition of what people think everyone in California looks like. I told my boyfriend, I was like, he just came from the beach surfing. He's going home, smoke a little Mary Jane, and then he's off to perform because his band plays at a local dive bar tonight. That was totally him. Like, his car was dope though. I low-key always wanted one of those. Okay, guys. So I am back in the, now in the car with my family. You're not in it. I am. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Zoom in. Girl, that is cropped. Oh, I hope so. You gonna get a bill in and so. I'm gonna show you what I got from Barnes and Noble. You wanna go ahead and you can go ahead and go. I think it'll stay. I am. Um, I got this book, Lee Bardugo. It's called The Familiar. It's like a historical romance. Then I already own this book, but this is a special edition. It is Lessons in Chemistry. It's so pretty. I don't even know if I like the book, but that was pretty, so. Mama, I don't need to. She's all, wow. That was a lot. Okay. Then I also got Kennedy Ryan black author the long shot um i got another book by her before i let go she um i've heard i haven't witnessed for myself we shall see i've heard that she tends to make her black characters kind of ambiguous so that like if you're someone who doesn't like reading black characters you won't mind so much because you can kind of ignore the fact that they're black. I don't know how true that is. Sometimes people make comments like that out of spite, but we'll see. Can you put this back there, mama? I got those two and I didn't want to leave them in my car while we were out. Un momento, por favor. Still recording, that's how we go. So, I have to tell you guys this. So Cameron tells me this story um, while we were out and 
I was like, oh, I started vlogging. I said, so repeat your story. He had the nerve to try to act shy. Laughing and not speaking and stuff. I said, tell your story. Now, y'all can attest, is he a shy person? No. Okay, so I don't know what he was going through. He just wanted to make me look like a fool. The camera, <laughs> the, the camera wasn't on him. No. The camera was on me. But anyway, so he told me, he was like, yeah, you know, I know I'm fine. I know. He was like, I, I knew I looked good, but I know I really look good because I was walking out of the liquor store and I had me a little bottle of Jose Cuervo and this girl was sitting in a truck and when I walked out, she said, mm, somebody about to get turned up. And he said, I was just like, oh, you know, it's just a little bottle. And she was like, um, ooh, how old are you? And so he said his age. I don't know if he wanted his age on the internet, so I ain't gonna put it out there. He said he said his age. And she was like, oh, dang, you look good for your age. Like he said he was sick. Right. <laughs> he don't even, he don't even, he not even of an age where you would look old or whatever. She was like, you look good for your age. What's your secret? Tell me your secret. And he was like, I don't argue with women. I live a stress-free life. And uh, I mind my business. Something like that. And she gonna say, and he was like, and I don't let I don't let people stress me out. And she go, oh, I can't stress you out? No, she said, well, I'm 28. And he was like, oh, I got a daughter your age. He was like, uh, Basically, you 30. She, I'm not 30. Uh -uh, I'm 28. And he said, he just laughed it off. And she goes, so uh, you going to let me stress you out or something along them lines, right? And he was like, well, I got a girlfriend. And he said, he was like, matter of fact, you about her size. You should check her out on YouTube. Her channel name is Malibu Stacy. He said, she instantly had an attitude like, oh, what's her name? And he said, he was like, Malibu Stacy. And she's like, oh, okay, and drove off. He was like, she was, the minute I said I had a girlfriend, he was like, she kind of switched up. He said, but when I pointed out that she was a big girl, I guess she's like, oh, so you like big girls and still don't want me? I said, well, shout out to you for your shot. He was like, I know I got you a subscriber. Yeah, I said, I said, now you better hope she don't hate watch. I don't care either way. If she want to hate watch, you like, girl, your nigga ain't that. You ain't cute. That's fine with me too. Be that's fine with me too. Hey, if she watching, that's fine with me. Wait. Yeah. Anywho. So yeah, we're going to get something to eat now from Outback. And uh, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that story that my boyfriend at least had the decency, so he say, to shout my channel out when some girl was trying to flirt with him. Then I said, was she cute? I mean, I don't know. I said, was she cute? I mean, I don't know about all that. I mean, like, you know, I mean, uh, I think any other nigga probably would have tried to. I said, was she, how hard is it to say was she or was she not cute? I mean, I couldn't even see her like that. I mean, she was from a distance and she was dark skinned and, uh, you know, I, that's all I could see was like, I don't know why me and just, yes. kept, she was attractive. Just say, yeah, she was attractive. And we was at Starbucks, leaving Barnes and Noble, and this guy was literally about to walk up and say something to me as I was picking up my uh, drink. His name, my boyfriend, gonna stand up and say, "Oh, let me hold your bag." Now, keep in mind, he wanted to go in Starbucks before I got my order, but I said no because sometimes they have five dollar books in there. I want to go with you. I said so. We got in line. We, I picked up my books. Then we went to Starbucks. So after we order the drinks, I'm like, can you hold my bag? No, because I suggested coming to Starbucks first. You wanted to go get your books first or hold your heavy books. I said, okay, I'll hold my heavy books, right? To that friend to talk to me. Then he was, oh, let me hold let me get your bag. I got your bag. Now you got my bag. I don't need you to have my bag. Right. I said, mm -hmm. you ain't the only one that still got it. Great pair of sparkler. Raspberry lemon drop. And what did you get? Kind of watermelon Palomas for Bailey. <laughs> right now, just eating bread and devouring shrimp. Hi, guys. So, it has been a few days later. 
I realized that I took you guys into the container store, but I didn't give you much context after the fact. Um, I did not really see what I was looking for. I saw something that could potentially work, but I want to look online first before I do anything. Um, I did get this. It's like a little luxury book sleeve for you to tuck your book in. It fits my book, my Kindle, and then my phone fits into this little slot. Um, it was $20. Could I have gotten one cheaper on Amazon? More than likely, of course. This is a little pin holder, but this was so cute and I just I had to have it. So yeah, we're still on the lookout. Mainly what I'm trying to do is I have these clear drawers on the side of my bed that I keep like my little knickknacks and stuff in. I've come to the conclusion that I'm not going to find a nightstand with a sufficient amount of drawer space and the height to, re to be level with my bed. So I have to keep the nightstand that I have, but I want more decorative like drawers on top for all my little knickknacks and stuff instead of like the one that I have that literally says clear drawers with the sticker on it. So um, I might even look to Etsy to see if someone has designed anything that I could use like that. I was in the shower thinking about how I still need like a good linen cabinet for my bathroom. And I was thinking about all the features that it needs and everything that I want in it. And there's nothing out there like it. I was like, Amber, you need to design it. You just need to design it. So yeah. This could just be something I'm thinking now. I could start to Google it and find out that somebody already makes it. Who knows? But yeah, ideally, I'm not going to even say it because ain't nobody going to steal my idea. But anyways. <sighs> so I finished that one book. I told you guys about the fall of ruin and wrath. It was okay. It was just okay. I was finna not finish it and, and make it a two star, 2.5 star, but I ended up going ahead and finish it. And I think I made it a 3.5. It's okay. It's just okay. Um, it slumped me though. Made me not want to read. But I did pick up Beach Read. I've had this book for a minute. And kept saying I was going to read it. But didn't. Got around to it. It's actually pretty good. It's basically about um, this girl and this boy. They're both offers, authors. They end up at this uh, same little like beach cabin. And she writes romance. He writes like, I want to say just literary fiction. Not necessarily like happy ending types. Um, and they have a bet that she could write his type of book and he could write her type of book and whoever gets published first wins the bet kind of thing but of course that is such like a light glaze over of what this book is about that's just the idea of the book but there's so much other things that go on in here this is my first book by emily henry but in my opinion, she did a really good job with the banter, like the jokes back and forth, the conversation. Apparently, that's what she's known for. But I gave this book um, 4.5, which is pretty high. Um, and it did help kind of pull me up out of my slump. I did start slowing down on the read of it. And then I used this book to kind of help propel me to finish that one. So I started reading this book called The Nice Guy. I had never heard of it, but it was a Kindle Unlimited book and it was free on Audible. Whenever I see books are free on Audible that sound interesting, I download them. So um, I was about, I was reading it on my Kindle and I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and order the actual book because it's like a small indie author's. But yeah, it's so pretty, the designs in it. And uh, let me see try to find see, the drawings so it's a thriller it's pretty interesting so far the reviews do say that it kind of dives but I've seen that before and it hasn't 
basically this lady meets this guy um she has a one night stand with him ends up being pregnant turns out homeboy's crazy he's literally a sociopath so um it's like a thriller in the aspect of now she thinks like he's trying to steal her baby so so far it's really good she i'm about 30 percent in she is already pregnant so it hops right in it hops right in which is kind of what you need books to do now i'm gonna show y'all something but I don't want no judgments. Okay. I. Yeah. I don't want any judgment. I've had to create this little corner here. These are just the books that I bought in April. With the exception of. Never Lie and Fake Mate. Uh, Fake Mate I think I got on like February. But. And Never Lie I've been had. But all of these I got just in April. And April's not even over. So I realized that I have a problem. And I realized that I don't even have enough space for the other books that I have. That huge book haul I did with you guys a few vlogs ago has at least this same amount of books in it. Um, that are in a corner in my mom's room. Not to mention all the books I have at home on my cart. And I still haven't purchased a bookshelf. So, yeah. yeah. It is pretty obvious I have a problem. But there could be worse problems. Gambling. Drug. Sex addict. There could be worse things. So I'm just going to sit here and chill and um, read The Nice Guy. I want you guys to know that I had a breakfast sandwich from Starbucks today that literally smelled like they murdered the pig in the back, chopped him up and put him on my sandwich. I can't, it, it didn't smell like blood or anything. Nothing, nothing gross like that. It just smelled extremely piggy. And I know people are like, oh, that just means it's fresh. No, it wasn't like a fresh bacon. Like when you walk in the kitchen and someone's frying up some bacon. No, it wasn't that scent. It was like, I can't, I, it's just like this extremely piggy scent. So I took the bacon off the sandwich just to have like the egg and the ciabatta bread and the sandwich still just had that smell and i looked at the part of the bacon that was on the egg like the top part was like brown and everything but the part that i had peeled up the bottom part was like it was giving gray it was giving like when you take some bacon that's raw and maybe you throw it in some water to cook it like boiled bacon but not fresh boiled bacon or like the bacon was boiled but not an air I don't know but I stopped eating the sandwich and now I have excruciating excruciating sharp pains in my stomach like something is trying to come through the wall of my stomach. Like the Kool-Aid man is chilling in my small intestines. No, not small intestines. In my stomach and trying to bust out. Yeah. That's what's going on. I don't think I'm going to be able to eat at Starbucks for a while. I think I think it's a wrap. Hi guys. So I'm looking a little rough but I just wanted to pop in because I have been waiting for something to come in the mail. And it's here. Huh? 
No, I haven't opened it yet, no. You said you don't have anything to open. Why well, I don't. What are you going to use? I don't know. I'm like, uh, I'm going to get there. I'm going to find some way to open it. I was able to get the ebook for this book that I had bought from Barnes & Noble called A Hunt on Dark Waters. So I'm currently reading that. I'm about 30% in. So far, so good. I'll let you guys know how I feel about that. So now I'm going to open what I've been waiting for. By the way, this is water, lemon juice, and emergency. Just a little immunity boost. Okay. So Facebook ads got the best of me. Because I had never even heard of this. But I had to partake. Pull everything out. So if you guys did not know. Oh, there are tons of e-readers, right? Most people have a Kindle. Oof. I have a Kindle Oasis. Best Kindle ever made. Um, they started making these in like 2022 and then they only made them for two years and now they have retired them. So you can't get this one with the little buttons on the side, but in my opinion, it is the best Kindle. However, they've been talking about this Kobo color. As you can see, when you're reading, you can highlight in color and annotate and all that other kind of good stuff. And, um, what'd you say? Book yeah, the book covers are in, in color. I'll try to pop in the picture because I don't have anything uploaded to this. But, I have what's called is Kindle Unlimited where I can read up to 20 books at one time free on Amazon. And then when I'm done with them, I return them. I don't own the copies, but I can just kind of read them. So, how I typically use Kindle Unlimited is like, let's say I'm reading this book right here and it's on kindle unlimited i have the paper copy i'll use kindle unlimited for when i want to read in my ebook and i'll read also from the paperback that's typically how i use it sometimes if i'm not too sure whether or not if i like a book i'll just read it if it's in kindle unlimited because it's free to me through my membership so kobo is a, a e-reader and they have developed their own kind of like Kindle Unlimited. It's called Kobo Plus. So I'm excited to, you know, see what they have to offer. Haven't turned it on yet. I'm going to do all that, but I got the Kobo. I just kind of want to see how it felt in my hands. It's very comfortable. What I like more so about my Kindle is it has that little edge on the side that I can hold, but I can live without it. So, I got the Kobo. I got a case. Come on. I got a clear case. And now that I think about it, I really don't know why I got a clear case. Because the back of the Kobo is not like... It's like gray. It's not like white, like the front of it. I usually get a clear case when I want the color of the device to show but in this case I really didn't need it to so this is a little silicone case okay I think I'm definitely gonna put stickers on this I didn't do that with my Kindle though because it's rose gold in the back and then I got the little stylus pen so that I can do all the little highlighting and stuff so i'll probably play with it a little bit and let you guys know how i feel about it um if any of you have a kobo or use the kobo app comment down and let me know but i'm excited i'm still gonna keep my kindle what what is libby telling me oh okay so that's libby telling me that my ebook copy of uh fake mate is ready so i'll probably go ahead and open it
because this has a direct connect to the library. So when you get a book from the library, it can go straight on there. Kindle has that too. So I don't want to mislead you into thinking that you have to get this for that. But I'll let you guys know how I like it. But uh, I pre-ordered it. It was supposed to come on the 30th and today is the 2nd. And they literally tried to play me. Like it literally just came at like 8 o'clock at night. Onwards and upwards.